Siren takes advantage of the symbol division file in nearly every aspect of the software. So a symbol file is usually automatically created by a compiler or an assembler. For example, here I have the source code of Apple 2 js Karate and automatically Merlin32 and is going to assemble all the source code, is going to create a symbol file. So for every label uh, on the code, I will end up with a one line in the symbol file. Symbol file can be loaded directly in Siren by using uh, the symbol button or, and it's probably uh, a better way to do that, simply you define your symbol file automatically in the preference window. You can go up to five uh, symbol files and you can also check reload automatically configuration file startup. It means that every time you start Siren, automatically the symbol file are uh, loaded in memory. You can look at the symbol file simply by accessing the symbol window from code menu and here we end up with the list of all the symbol files so for software like apple 2 gs karate we have about 2700 and try available if i sort by segment uh, and i go to segment main which is where this file is located uh, up, um, i can find the beginning of all my labels for example main label is part of Apple 2 GS Karate source file located on source code fine line 6074. Okay. This line is a code, so it's a way to run a code. The size is a one byte. Okay. We can not only encode a code operation, but also data. So let's find a little bit uh, further in the code, we have a table, error tab line. Error tab line is also recognized as a symbol. This time it's recognized as a data and the data type is DA, which is simply address, 16-bit address. We have four address at this part and the total number of bytes occupied by this symbol is eight bytes. A symbol uh, from a S16 application, system, uh, Apple 2 gs uh, system application, is a symbol which is not hard-coded in memory. Uh, the full and at the end, the relocation part uh, address of this symbol uh, will be done by JSOS when the loader will uh, load uh, JS Karate in memory and so will attribute uh, the final address of this symbol. Uh, on the 16, S16 application, usually a symbol is defined by the name of the file, Apple 2 GS Karate, which is the name of the executable. The second level is the segment name, because Apple 2 GS Karate has six segments, uh, and we may have the same symbol name in several segments, so the full path of the unique path of a symbol is always uh, for relocatable uh, executable, the name uh, of the executable, the name of the segment, and at the end, the name of the symbol itself. For the moment, uh, when I look to the memory and the symbol table, everything has a question mark here simply because for the moment, Apple 2 GS Karate is not yet in memory. So if now I'm going to run the software and stop when the software is in memory, Let's go up to the menu. I'm stopping and I'm going back in my uh, symbol table. Now, the question mark has been replaced by OK, and we have now the final address uh, of the symbol. If I go back to my main uh, uh, first symbol, which was uh, the beginning of the software main, now the final address in memory is bank 11 uh, address 4. I can go from here and now symbol can be used. If I go to code disassembly, I can directly pick up a symbol name. Once again, let's go to my main And I double click and automatically now the disassembly goes directly uh, on the right location. And as I can see now, the disassembly, of course, takes advantage of the symbol. We have the real label uh, everywhere. And if I go down a little bit <clears throat> and if I, I find back uh, 
my error tab line, the one here, because the symbol table told me that it is uh, four addresses altogether, the disassembly part can take advantage and show me as four address. Symbol can be used everywhere. We can use symbol in breakpoints. Same logic, I create a new breakpoint. I want to put a breakpoint uh, nearly everywhere. So if I want to use a specific location in main, for example, uh, the get uh, random number uh, can be directly or um, load file or anything uh, that has a name has now a final address that can be used uh, directly uh, in the debugging part. If I want to match and look for some part in memory, I can use instead of a fixed address, uh, a data uh, I want to, for example, monitor. Once again, it's linked to a symbol. Uh, 